Welcome back to Weatherbug here on this Thursday, last Thursday of May 2014. If you can believe it already, we're talking about some cooler conditions in the northeast, some southern flooding, and also some spotty severe weather. But the severe weather threat will be ramping up a little bit more heading into the weekend. All right, take a look at highs yesterday. We only made it to 50 in Boston, 64 in New York. D.C. at 88. It'll be cooler again there today, and this is after some uh, 90s earlier this week. And then some triple-digit heat still out in the southwest and some 80s showing up in the Midwest. But again, things are definitely warmer in the midsection of the nation versus what we're going to see, say, in the northeastern quadrant and also slightly cooler in the southwest as we have some moisture and also some showers and thunderstorms possible for places like Phoenix up to the Denver region. Still some heavy rain uh, expected to be in the lower Mississippi Valley and the Gulf Coast states, but enjoy that sunshine while you can in Minneapolis because some scattered showers and thunderstorms will be on the way for your weekend. So we still have this ridge of high pressure in place over the midsection of the nation. Definitely cooler in the northeast and a trough of low pressure in the west will help to start to bring this moisture from the Pacific back to the high plains and along the front range. So Thursday, severe weather threat just looks to be... Uh, well, somewhat unsettled in a few spots, no organized severe weather threat, and nor do we have that on Friday. But again, maybe a couple of isolated strong storms here or there, both today and tomorrow. Saturday, we'll start to watch this severe threat uh, ramp back up, and uh, Sunday looks to be about the same. But there will be pockets of heavy rain, as I mentioned, more so down across the Gulf Coast states and also to the far north as several rounds of showers and storms roll through in the next few days up that way. We're talking more so into this weekend. And again, that uh, thunder threat is really going to help to bring in that uh, heavy rain still across the deep south where flooding has already been an issue and still might be an issue over the next two days. Have a good one.